Claire. Um, great to be with you um, uh, live from the Arizona State University California Center, which is just a few blocks from the beach uh, in Santa Monica, California. Um, the sun is just now beginning to rise. Um, uh, and I want to invite you in advance, uh, beginning in the fall of 2021, should you find yourself in Los Angeles, to our new home, the historic Herald Examiner Building uh, in downtown LA. Um, I need to thank ASU, it's one of our partners, but there are so many. A big thank you to Democracy International, uh, the best team in the Rhineland or anywhere. Um, thank you to the Swiss Democracy Foundation, to our media partner, Swiss Info. Uh, and of course, to Mayor Democratie, where would Democratie be without you? Um, thanks to the Navigator to Direct Democracy, which you all should be using, um, uh, and to Swiss Votes, to Stott Byrne, uh, to the Instituto Electoral de la Ciudad de Mexico, IECM. Uh, thank you so much, uh, bringing great crowds to um, some of our panels, um, the European Capital of Democracy, and to ID the Initiative for Democratie I sure I screw that up, but um, thank you very much. Um, this is the concluding talk, uh, but the online global forum is not over. Um, we have a few things after this today, but um, more importantly, the forum concludes next week um, with a one hour panel discussion um, uh, put on here uh, by me and my colleagues at Zocal Public Square in Los Angeles. Um, that's on September 29th in the Western Hemisphere uh, and very early on, um, on uh, uh, Wednesday the 30th uh, in the Eastern Hemisphere. Time well for breakfast if you're in East Asia. Um, we're, this is sort of time for that. It's 4.30 p.m. Pacific, 7.30 in New York in the evening, 8.30 in Santiago, Chile, 6.30 if you're in Mexico City and we'll all be done before um, with a lot of democracy um, before the Biden-Trump first debate starts. Um, at, uh, at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 o'clock in the East. Um, that same evening, um, we'll have uh, David Altman, author of Demo Direct Democracy Worldwide, professor at the Catholic University in Santiago, Chile. Uh, Greta Rios, who some of you have met, is the founder of Odin. It's a leading youth democracy organization in Mexico City. Uh, we'll have the forum's very good friend, Michael Cao of the Taiwan uh, Foundation for Democracy and Sherry Davis, who's the ex executive director of that very important NGO um, here in the US that works around the world, the Participatory Budgeting Project. Uh, she'll be in Oakland, California. The moderator is Kathleen Miles, who's a top editor at the new Noama magazine published by the Berggruen Institute. Um, and anyway, we will hope to um, see you there. The event will not be on this Zoom, I should warn you. It will be on YouTube. You can register at zocalopublicsquare.org, the Zocal webpage. Um, and um, um, and I, uh, I promise again, we will finish 20 minutes before Biden Trump uh, for those who are uh, staying up to watch that. Um, so as for this talk, I would like to begin with a quote from the greatest uh, Swiss citizen of our times who says, and I quote, I always believe if you're stuck in a hole and maybe things aren't going well for you, you will come out stronger. Uh, everything in life is this way. So says the Swiss philosopher Roger Federer, also a tennis player of some note. Um, I've chosen Professor Federer's view to frame this talk because over the past six days, we are hearing this forum from people on six continents, people of many different parties, backgrounds, and occupations. Some of those occupations like data scientists um, did not exist when we first gathered for that first global forum in Arau in 2008. And I would say that for all we have heard, um, for all the ideas, opinions, suggestions, and provocations of this forum, they all sort of boil down to one question. Is Roger right? And by that I mean, the world is in a whole. Democracy is in a whole. Can the world and democracy really climb out stronger of that whole? Um, the Global Forum's answer to the Roger question, I think, is yes. Um, but it's going to be like beating Rafael Nadal on a clay court. It's going to be damn hard. Um, we will have to play the democracy game at a higher level than we've ever played it before. Um, we have seen how hard this week, uh, especially when we talk about Switzerland. Here is this model democracy with so many successes, um, but it's still a struggle uh, in Switzerland to maintain and to improve democracy with all the problems of media. 
the damage of disinformation, uh, the costs and difficulties of organizing, the need for greater transparency in the system. Um, we've seen how hard it is um, as we hear stories from so many democracy cities and communities, neighborhoods all over the world. We know that democracy and participation in direct democracy are often strongest at the local level. And the Global Forum has been a force for bringing together so many cities into now into an international league of democracy cities. But cities face so many anti-democratic pressures um, from powerful entities at the global level, from corporations, from their own national governments. Uh, and now we saw, using the excuse of COVID, so many governments at all levels are limiting the democratic rights of their people. We've also seen the struggle for democracy for the young, since across the world, people are often excluded because of their youth from full democratic participation. Could it be any clearer that the views of the youth are more important than ever, that they should have agency? But yet, too many places throw just a few democratic crumbs to the young. And then most of all, we've heard during this forum that democracy is not rising and organizing fast enough to address so many global problems, pandemic, violence, oppression, authoritarianism, war, and the existential threat of climate change. So many people who have visited this forum have worked collaboratively, collaboratively at all levels, especially a transnational one, to build democratic processes so the world might save itself. We heard about the groundbreaking World Citizens Initiative and about climate-oriented initiatives in Austria and Mexico uh, and many other places. But we also heard about the high hurdles to progress about petitioning processes and platforms that don't yet deliver on what we need. And you know, I, as I heard about um, the urgency to solve these global problems and our frustration in building a democracy capable of that, um, I found myself thinking about all the times I've been asked as co-president of this forum what is this global forum for? I mean, what are you guys? What do you do? What problem are you designed to solve? And I know for all these years, that seemed like a very hard question. There were so many different answers. You know, we're collecting data, the forum shares and compares. It's about best practices. It's about learning from each other, about building a network, about teaching, connecting activists, about campaigning, all sorts of things. But after this week, I think I have one simpler, more direct and direct democratic answer to that question. And it's this, the, the real mission of the Global Forum is to build a democracy strong enough to save the world. Um, that means this forum can never really close. We must work every day and meet and talk with each other more often. Uh, I'm glad we will be together in Bern next year, just a few months from now, really, April 26th to May 1st. Um, I'm glad we're already committed to bringing the Global Forum to the Western Hemisphere's greatest city, Mexico City, uh, in October of 2022. We'll be gathering near the Zocalo, the great public square from which my publication, my organization draws its name. Um, as it happens, it was the Mexican poet and writer, Octa Octavio Paz, a Nobel laureate, who I think best explained the challenge that we at the Forum face and the really humanity faces. Um, in his classic, The Labyrinth of Solitude, Paz wrote that, quote, history has the cruel reality of a nightmare and the grandeur of humans consists in making beautiful and lasting works out of the real substance of that nightmare. Or to put it another way, it consists in transforming the nightmare into vision and freeing ourselves from the shapeless horror of reality by means of creation. So let's create. Let's shape, let's free ourselves from Octavio Paz's nightmare. Let's prove Roger Federer right. Let's set a vision of a new democracy and then build that vision into a reality strong enough to transform nightmares into dreams, strong enough to dig us out of today's deepest holes so that we might climb democratic mountains as glorious as Mount Rigi. Um, with that, I'm honored to be creating you. I'm, I'm gonna try some language here. So, viva Mexico. Viva la Svizzera, how'd I do Bruno? Svizzera, is that, is that, is that that's, that's Swiss for Switzerland in Italian? And long lep de democracy, long live democracy. Um, thank you for listening and we'll see you Tuesday night if you're in the Western hemisphere and um, Wednesday morning if you're in East Asia. Uh, thank you very much and over to uh, Mr. Kaufman. Yes, hello. Uh, I'm not in a hole, but I'm trying to <laughs> climb up on a mountain because I'm truly uh, convinced that uh, democracy is not in a hole. It's, it's in fact up on a mountain. And the thing is that this mountain is very high and we have been 
climbing uh, for many, many years. This Global Forum has first time uh, taken place 2008 in Switzerland. And now this next year, we will be back in Switzerland. And uh, it has been a, a very interesting journey, but we have also learned and understand how difficult it is to make democracy really stronger and to make it what Joe said, uh, saving the world. But we have no choice. Democracy and this work is not an option. It's a, it's, it's, it's a duty, it's necessary to bring the world forward. So it's a hard work to go up on this mountain and uh, what an interesting place uh, here, which I'm just now, it's the place where you see the lowest point of Switzerland. It's 196 meters and the highest, it's 4,634 meters. And next year we will meet in Switzerland, in between in Bern from April 26 to uh, May 1st. And I hope that we together will climb on many mountains and we will make democracy more democratic. Thank you very much for joining this online Global Forum 2020. Welcome to Bern in spring 2021. And as you can see, I'm a little bit exhausted about this week and many of us are also, but this gives us also energy to continue. So thank you very much. All the best. See you soon. Bye. And so I would now like to welcome Bernardo Valle uh, Monroy, who is going to invite us to the to the next global forum, uh, the next next global forum in Mexico. And I would also advise you all to stick around for afterwards because we have a surprise for you and an informal after work uh, that will start immediately after Bernardo. Please, Bernardo, you have the floor. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon to everyone in Europe and good morning in Mexico and Latin America. I'm grateful to share this experience with Bruno Kaufman, Joe Matthews, and everybody of the forum. Uh, I think the contributions and experience left to us by the speakers who participate in the various panels of this online forum will be, as always, material for discussion and analysis on direct democracy. I congratulate all the organizers for this important effort and of course, I join the invitation to participate and attend the World Global Forum of the year 2021 in Bern, Switzerland. And I take this opportunity to announce that the venue for the 2022 forum will be in Mexico City. So we are very happy and we hope to have all of you next year in Bern and in 2022 in Mexico City. Greetings to all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bernardo, um, for that for that very nice invitation. Uh, and then now, if everything is right, I'm very excited. Um, sometimes things just work out. Two weeks ago, we ran into an amazing new NGO here in Cologne by accident. They just founded themselves this week, I think, officially. Um, and they ca they are called Acts for Humanity, and they want to combine music and um, and human rights and democracy. And so we thought that is perfect uh, as a closing act for our global forum. So I would like to hand the floor to um, to Felix and Nora, who I think should be on the line now. If you're there, you Hello? can unmute. Yes, <laughs> are you there? I see. If I see Felix is unmuted, but I don't, ah. They're getting ready. Maybe if you say something, then everybody can see you as speaker view. We don't hear you yet, I think. Can you hear them? I think we might be having some sound problems because we don't hear you. They are joining us live from a studio in Cologne and they are trying to fix their issue right now. Now we hear you, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 
We just lost you again. We heard you. Okay. Can you hear me now? I changed the computer now. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Oh, thank God. So we had it over microphones. It worked before, but now it didn't work. So we could hear you. I'm Nora and my colleague Hanok. Hanok, can you please come and introduce yourself? <laughs> because we are doing this together. Um, because of Corona, we are a little a bit apart. So we found we created the, the organization X for Humanity. Actually, <laughs> that's Hanok. I'm Nora. Actually, we are only founded. Um, uh, we will be founded next week. And we have the common goal to promote humanity in the world. Uh, we want to raise ours and other people's voices against discrimination, racism, and every concept or mindset that is against humanitarian principles. To do this, we plan, as Caroline just said, to organize events where we want to combine education and concepts. So that means before the actual act, our audiences will get to hear short entities of education linked to our organization's goals and principles. These can be presentations, short films, personal experiences, coachings, the presentation of literature, or of course, such a nice conference about democracy. Which, and democracy, as we all know, is the state uh, form that does this best with um, all of this. Our vision is that the audience will pass on more humanity into the world through this small but powerful input of education, which is at the same time uh, even intensified if everything works well. <laughs> Our appeal will then be intensified by the music or the art that is presented in the following on the emotional level. We have been spontaneously invited to contribute to this conference and we are very happy and I'm also deadly excited about this, <laughs> particularly because the funding of us is only next week. And uh, it's a very nice starting point for us yes. um, and our first act. And um, we have Felix Miles here, which as I was using another microphone, we are in the studio now, you could see him in the back. Now you can't see him, but you will soon. I hope the switching will, will work now. He will perform two of his unpublished songs. The first song is called Smile and you can understand this as a love song to democracy, if you like. And the second song called Clouds um, kind of reflects your important work and efforts for democracy, uh, which are not always immediately visible. But underground, I'm very sure that this work is not in vain. Uh, well, what, what's the rest? It just thank you for having us. A big thank you to Democracy International. It's a great start for us. And I hope and we hope. We hope. We hope that uh, we will all see you again soon and I hope the switch works now and have fun. Enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy. Switch That's to, it. Switch to Felix Miles. Switch to Felix ah, Miles, switch please. Switch to Felix Miles, please, Caro. Yes, I think normally if he just... Oh, I can hear. Oh, we hear him. Every little bit of time And every thought that's on my mind Every single spoken word I've heard Every little single sign Is just what makes a moment mine Every little step of way makes my day It is drops it takes to build a sea Little things to share for you and me like the sun and rain just make a weather Takes you and me to be together So this is for you Cause by sharing your smile You make one smile too That's what you do 
I pause for a moment and I watch the squall change as your beautiful mind is making me kind. A lot of secrets make a mystery, a lot of moments make eternity, answers give identity to you and me. Poems are made out of rhymes, like lots of grapes can make a wine. The single tones can make a song to sing along. So this is for you, cause by sharing your smile, you make one smile too. That's what you do. I pause for a moment and I watch the world change as your beautiful mind is refining mine. This is for you, cause by sharing your smile, you make one smile too. That's what you do. I pause for a moment as I watch the world change, as your beautiful mind is refining mine. When sense is volatile, like the wind beat going by, blown over and fading away. When life is uniform, shadows and the lights perform, and days thread to a lonely stream. I try to feel again, to mend what's broken and keep on hoping for your words are on my mind the lyrics of all times so saying sway with me keep on dancing through the clouds keep on thinking it out loud I need some place to go, like a lonesome track or so, to guide me without my keys. The texture of your skin, the moment that we swing together, we begin. When time drips like the rain, all my efforts seem in vain, dissolving. Going astray, I hope that spring comes soon, bringing my soul to bloom, daydreaming in the wind. Keep on dancing through the clouds, keep on thinking it out loud. Keep on dancing through the clouds. Keep on thinking it out loud. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, I, I see lots of people applauding. Unfortunately, you can't hear it because, you know, everybody's muted at Zoom. <laughs> um, actually, I would like to invite everybody to unmute themselves and like actually applaud <laughs> Felix. Um, 
Thank you. Thank you very much um, to Act for Humanity for organizing this, even though you are not an actual organization yet. Uh, that is just unbelievable that you're able to pull this together. Um, I would like to thank also our um, everybody who sent in sessions, everybody who organized sessions, everybody who hosted workshops today, even if it was, uh, even if I should change things around a little bit. Um, thank you for being so flexible and for doing that. Um, Thank you for, for to the people who joined in. I think around 500 people joined in throughout the week for at least one session. That is amazing. Uh, thank you to our technical moderators who joined today to help make sure that all of the sessions go well. Thank you to, to our interns, Max and Reiner, who, who were here all week until very, very late to make sure that this happens. Uh, to, to our other colleagues, uh, to Daniela, Andreas, Anna, uh, who, who really made this happen. And of course, to Bruno and Joe, uh, without whom we would not have a global forum on modern direct democracy. 